let x1, x2 up to x100 be in an arithmetic progression with x1 equals to 2 and their mean equals to 200. If yi equals to i into xi minus 1 such that i is between i is from 1 to 100, then what is the mean of y1, y2 up to y100? We have been given that x1, x2 up to x100 be in an arithmetic progression. So, if you take an arithmetic progression, the first term is given by 2. So, whatever they said, let us write down x1 equals to 2 and mean equals to 200. What is mean? Sum divided by number of observations. That means, sigma xi divided by 100 equals to 200. That will give us sigma xi equals to 200 into 100, which is equals to 20,000. Now, let us come back to arithmetic progression syntax and see what is x1 that is nothing but our a first term of the arithmetic progression what is n 100 what is sn sn is 20000 now using this let us try to understand what is the common difference of this arithmetic progression and what is the an formula that means what is the n what is the formula by which i can get the nth term an term now let us write down Sn equals to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Let us substitute Sn 20,000, n equals to 100, a equals to 2 and we have to calculate the value of d. Simplify that, we will get 400 equals to 4 plus 99d or 396 equals to 99d or d equals to 4. So, we know that there is an arithmetic progression with starting with 2 and common difference is 4. That means it is 2, 6, 10, 14 like that. Now, we know the common difference. We need to find out an. Why are we interested in finding out the an? An is nothing but xi. So, what is xi? You want to understand? We should know what is the formula for an. An, nth term is given by a plus n minus 1 into d. Let us substitute 2 plus n minus 1 into 4 that is 4n minus 2. Now, what is yi? yi is i into xi minus i. In arithmetic progression language, it is nothing but n into nth term of y series is given by n into an minus n. What is an? We just calculated it is 4n minus 2. Now, let us simplify that. We get n into 3n minus 2. That is 3n square minus 2n. Once we know the nth term of n particular sequence we series, we want to find out the sum of n terms. We have to summarize them. So, let us do sigma on top of the nth term. So, first mean will be nothing but we have to find out the sum and then you have to divide by 100. First, let us find out what is the Sn, sum of n terms of this y i sequence or series. So, we will write down 3 into sigma n square minus 2 into sigma n. We know the formula for sigma n square is n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6 and sigma n equals to n into n plus 1 by 2. Let us simplify this. See, can we take anything common here? 3 will cancel 2 times. Then I can take n into n plus 1 by 2 common. Left out will be 2n plus 1 minus 2. So we can write that as n into n plus 1 into n plus 1 into 2n minus 1 by 2. This is sigma yn. Now, we need it only for 100 terms, that means n is 100. Let us substitute, when n equals to 100, we will have 100 into 101 into 200 minus 1, that is 199 divided by 2. But what we want is not see sum, we want mean. Mean equals to sum divided by 100, because number of observations are 100. So, we have 100 into 101 into 199 divided by 2 into 100. 100 and 100 will cancel out. What is left out is 101 into 199 divided by 2, which is equals to 50.5 into 199. You can simplify that. I think that will come around 10,049.50. So, let us have a recap of this problem. 
we have been given an arithmetic progression in which we have been given the first term we know how many terms are there we know indirectly what is the sum of n terms because we have been given mean and we know number of terms so we can find out sn so how here we linked ap with statistics so once we understood sn is 20000 we get a d value we can easily find out d value once we get the d value we can find out a n equals to so nth term of this particular arithmetic progression we can find out now once we know that we can go back to the find to find out the nth term of the y series for that y i equals to i into x i minus i or y n equals to n into a n minus n substitute the values we get y n equals to 3 n square minus 2 n now this is nth term of the particular series but we want sum of all the terms that means s n we want then we know that we have to summarize this we have to apply sigma on top of it so we did 3 sigma n square minus 2 sigma n we substituted sigma n square sigma n values we simplified it then we substituted n equals to 100 because we are interested in only in sum of the first 100 terms of this series and we actually interested in mean that means we have to divide by 100 whatever the sum we got we got finally the answer as 10049.50 now this problem can be solved in another way also once we got the an you can independently you can separately or individually find out what are the numbers in y series then you see that they are not in arithmetic progression or geometric progression but their difference is in arithmetic progression then you can take that route and find out a n from the y n from that route also and then s n will be the same because that way also you get the nth term of y series is 3 n square minus 2 n then you can just apply the sigma on top of it that's a common to both the methods so finally, the answer is 10,049.50.